Have you ever wondered why electric cars don't have gearboxes? Well, first of all, electric vehicles typically have a single speed gearbox. So it's not really a box, it's just one gear. This gear is usually set with a ratio of 9 to 1, meaning the motor spins 9 times faster than the wheel does. Let's compare this with a normal car. For example, the most sold combustion car in Europe in the last few years. Great news! What? The Dacia Sandero! I've got a new picture! Which has the following gear ratios. First gear, 3.73 to 1, meaning for every 3.73 revolutions of the crankshaft, i.e. the engine, the wheel completes one revolution. But at the same time, you get 3.73 times the torque at the wheels. The best way to think of this is that you're trading RPM for torque. Just like in a traditional mechanical advantage lever, where you trade distance for force. And you need a lot of torque in first gear to get all that mass of the car to start moving and accelerating. On to the second gear. For every 1.96 revolutions of the crankshaft, the wheel completes one complete revolution. This ratio is lower than the first gear, meaning less torque multiplication, but allowing for a higher vehicle speed. The engine RPM is less divided before it turns into wheel RPM. You get the idea. Fifth gear. For every 0.66 revolutions of the engine, the wheels complete one revolution. This gear provides the highest reduction and is used for efficient highway cruising at higher speeds, meaning the wheels turn faster than the crank does. Now forget everything I just said, because we have the final drive left too. The final drive is essentially the last, or the final, gear reduction unit in a car's drivetrain. It is usually located in the differential, which I'm not going to explain in this video. Well okay, but very briefly. The differential allows the wheel to rotate at different speeds, so that you can take turns. The final drive of a Sendero is 4.5, which means that the engine's RPM first get reduced in the transmission, and then reduced again before reaching the wheels. And this is also true in the electric vehicles, because they first go through a single speed gearbox of the ratio 3 to 1, and then they go through a final drive that's also 3 to 1. So that's 3 times 3, which is a reduction of 9 to 1. Okay, to put all this into a real world application, Let's say you're driving your Sendero at 5th gear at 100 km an hour. Normal road tires has a diameter of about 25 inches or about 60 cm. At 100 km an hour they are rotating at about 800 rpm. From this we can calculate that your engine rpm is about 2400, which we can see is true. And maybe you want to pass the slow BMW in front of you, so you switch into 4th, uh, where your wheel rpm is the same. But now, going for a different gear ratio, your engine is at 3240 rpm, where you'll be higher on your torque curve and thus have the power needed to pass. Oh, well, maybe the Sendero was a bad example, you'll actually barely have any more torque. But this is a great time to talk about the difference between the torque curve of an electric vehicle and a normal one. As you can clearly see, the engine needs to be at between around 2000 to 4000 rpm uh, to have the most torque. This is also where your engine is the happiest and most efficient. No, not fuel efficient, but energy efficient. You'll get most out of the fuel you use at peak torque. Anyway, here is the torque curve of an EV. Oh, well, it's probably like up here compared to a Sandero, but you know. It's basically a straight line, and this is because an electric motor's torque is dependent on the current that you put into it. And while well, you can give it as much current as the battery is capable of, the torque curve of an ICE is a function of, well, a lot of different things. Okay, so with all of this out of the way, let's get back to the actual question. An electric car doesn't have a gearbox, but it has one really high gear ratio because the electric car can produce a lot of torque, and I mean a lot of torque, which a normal tire can't really use anyway without losing traction. 
So you gear it down a lot, which loses torque, but gains speed and makes it able to rotate a lot faster. A Tesla motor can go to 18,000 RPM safely. And for reference, 18,000 RPM on a normal 26 inch tire would be about 1,392 miles per hour or 2,241 kilometers an hour, also known as Mach 1.9. But when you gear it down 18,000 RPM by 9 to 1, you get 2,000 RPM. And on the same 26 inch tire, it's about 155 miles per hour or 250 kilometers an hour. Also known as the top speed of a Tesla Model X. But still, wouldn't it draw a lot less power to only have the Tesla turn at 2,000 RPM and just have a gear with 1 to 1 ratio? Well, no. An electric motor has about 90% efficiency at most of the RPM range. And well, you're almost never legally allowed to go faster than like 130 km an hour or 85 miles an hour. That's about halfway up the rev range where it's still very efficient. So gearbox barely helps in speed, acceleration or mileage. It would just be an added weight and complexion. And complexion is expensive. Comment any questions you have and hope someone else can answer them because I'm actually really confused myself. Yeah.